Hi there, welcome to the Nucleic Sense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the column number function. So column number is a function which you can use it in the pivot table over here. So this pivot table or the pivot table whatever you call <laughs> sometimes I call pivot or sometimes uh, pivot but uh, if you want to use or if you want to know in which column you are and based on that you want to perform some calculation then you can use the column number all right so what do i mean by that is if i select this and in the measure if i add one more measure which is let's say column number and if i just add this what you will see over here that it clearly says that this is column number one this is column number two this is column number three and so on and so forth and let's say we want to do one calculation where we want to divide the current column value uh, with the uh, previous column value so that means there is nothing prior to consumer so in that case we want to say that if column number one column number is one then it should be zero otherwise it should divide the current value with the previous value so how we can do that so what I'll do is I will modify this column number go in the expression editor and I will say if column number one column number equals to one then zero otherwise uh, sum of sales sum of sales divided by before sum of sales all right let's close this so we are good with this and if we click apply so what do we get over here is zero because there is nothing prior to this if we have not specified a uh, column number over here the condition this then it would be dash like null or missing value which does not look good so in those sort, sort of scenarios where based on a particular column position you want to specify some sort of a calculation then you can do this in the pivot table with the help of column number function so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic